arbitration has been one of the major solutions of international commercial disputes for centuries. Since its founding in 1955, the Chinese Arbitration Association Taipei has laid the foundation for the development of Taiwan arbitral institutions and has become the pioneer and leader among arbitral organizations in Taiwan. Upon its establishment, CAA declared that the missions of the association are to clarify the rights and duties of the disputants, resolve their disputes, and therefore reduce the number of litigations. As a private institution with semi-judicial functions, CAA has been playing an impartial and neutral role by providing an alternative channel to settle both domestic and international civil and commercial disputes, apart from litigation. Litigation, which is a three-tier trial system, is often adversarial and unpleasant, time and energy consuming, and requires substantial costs. On the contrary, arbitration is faster and more flexible. The two parties can select their own arbitrators, who will then select a third arbitrator to form an arbitral court. Both parties can not only decide the time, place, and procedure of arbitration, but also have the autonomy to decide whether the equitable principles will apply. The arbitral court hears cases fairly, neutrally, and impartially. It gives two parties full opportunities to present their cases. The arbitral period is six months and may be extended for another three months. The arbitral procedure is not open to the public. Once the trial ends, the arbitrators deliberate the case and render an award. An arbitral award has the same effect as a finalized court decision, which after applying to the court is enforceable by compulsory execution against the losing party. Arbitration, compared with court litigation, is more professional, effective, faster, agreeable, and confidential. Moreover, the cost is far lower than litigation. The arbitrator's impartiality and expertise is the crucial key to win over clients' trust and willingness to resort to arbitration. Currently, CAA has over 800 registered members on its arbitrator role. They are experts, scholars, and highly seasoned professionals from various fields who can best identify the key problems of the disputants. CAA has made specific attempts to introduce and adopt the Chinese stenography system and collaborated with several colleges to train law students as arbitral stenographers. During the proceedings, they type swiftly and make verbatim record, which greatly enhances the credibility of arbitration. Over the past six decades, CAA has accepted several thousand civil and commercial dispute cases, domestic and international, including some infrastructure disputes involving roads, bridges, and tunnels. After submitting to arbitration, most cases were resolved smoothly, thus helping bring those construction projects to completion. The Chinese Arbitration Association Taipei has faithfully played an instrumental role in Taiwan's economic ascent and the development of its arbitration system. The last 60 years have seen a robust increase in the number of arbitration cases handled by the association and the amounts in disputes. And that is encouraging proof that our quality decisions and the credibility of our awards have earned international recognition. In 2003, CAA set up its Dispute Mediation Center pursuant to Article 45 of Arbitration Law in order to provide additional channels for resolving disputes. Mediation is an effective and flexible method of resolving disputes and preserving the interests of both parties, aiming at maintaining their ongoing relationship. It is facilitated by an independent third party, a mediator, who is well trained and trusted by both parties to assist both sides in a peaceful way to develop full communication and overcome their differences so that they can work out a solution agreeable to both parties. The cost and time required for mediation is lower and faster than arbitration. Arbitration is also more agreeable, confidential, and treats people involved in a more dignified fashion than a court proceeding. 
If a mediation does not succeed, it will not affect or harm arbitration application or court litigation in the future. It can be regarded as the best and most flexible dispute solution that respects both parties' wishes. Except for criminal or administrative cases, any dispute involving real estate, finance, insurance, the sale or purchase of goods, labor, travel, and leasing can be submitted to the Dispute Mediation Center for mediation upon consent of both parties. The Dispute Mediation Center has conducted many training programs and recruited outstanding talents from all fields. So far, there are over 100 members registered on our mediator role. They have received over 36 hours of specialized training and serve the public with the utmost professionalism and patience. As the only private sector mediation institution in Taiwan currently, we have single-handedly set the pertinent organization functions and the ethic norms for mediators. We have introduced mainstream facilitative mediation theory and the techniques and have set up a mediator training programs. All teaching materials and the practice examples have been created by the instructors at our mediation center. Our professionally trained mediators are very good listeners who can actually pinpoint the crux of the issues concerning disputants. They then find concrete and feasible solutions to the problem based on the interest of the both party. In recent years, economic and commercial disputes have become more frequent and complicated. Accordingly, the arbitration system must be globalized. CAA has worked hard to assist the government in revising Taiwan's arbitration law extensively. Provisions such as recognition of foreign arbitral awards and compulsory execution by the court have been added to provide a complete legal basis and authority for conducting international arbitration. CAA has signed bilateral collaboration agreements with 29 national or regional arbitral organizations and actively participated in many international arbitral organizations. It keeps abreast of the latest arbitration trends and promotes development of arbitral practices by publishing academic periodicals and holding international conferences. CAA has vigorously promoted cross-strait arbitration collaboration. In 1992, it signed an MOU with the China International Economic and Commercial Arbitration Association of the PRC. This makes it possible for arbitrators to be recommended by the other side and training programs to be implemented. Arbitral awards will be reciprocally recognized and entitled to enforcement by courts of the other side. In 2012, both sides of the Taiwan Strait signed the Cross-Strait Bilateral Investment Protection and Promotion Agreement, which officially incorporated an arbitration and mediation mechanism for Cross-Strait's economic and commercial disputes. CAA is the designated dispute settlement institution for cross-strait investment disputes. Through mediation, such disputes can be settled in a fair and agreeable manner, and the rights of cross-strait investors can be protected, while at the same time sovereignty issues can be avoided. The CAA, since its funding, has been in sync with the international community. In 1992, we started building a cross-strait platform for arbitration cooperation. As a funding member of the Greater China Arbitration Forum and a member of the Asia-Pacific Arbitration Group, we have used multinational cooperation and strategic alliances to successfully boost our international visibility and greatly expand our service capacity. As the times change, CAA continues to improve its professionalism and expertise and extend its service networks. Currently, CAA has regional offices in Taipei, Taichung, and Kaohsiung. There are also contact windows in Xiamen and Dongguan, China, offering Taiwan businesses and companies timely assistance and service. Currently, CAA is in the process of establishing a Hong Kong liaison office. For the past 60 years, CAA has remained committed to resolving disputes and helping maintain social order. 
The arbitration cases accepted by CAA have increased annually from 20 in the 1980s to 100 in the 1990s, and recently the average annual caseload was around 170. Among those cases, around 60 to 70 percent are public construction disputes, of which infrastructure projects are the majority. Other categories include maritime disputes, commercial transactions, securities and insurance, leasing and intellectual property. Mediation cases are also increasing in line with international trends. Having one more successful arbitration or mediation can help reduce disputes or potential lawsuits. CAA has been firmly performing its role of resolving disputes and has been relied upon by both society and the government. The Chinese Arbitration Association Taipei is Taiwan's leading, largest, and the most representative arbitral institution. Since its founding, CAA has maintained professionalism, impartiality, and neutrality. Our mission is to identify the crux of the problem, resolve disputes, and realize social justice. In accord with Arbitration Act, we are expanding service overseas and throughout the Chinese mainland to help resolve disputes, create a harmonious society, and promote public interest. Fairness and equality, harmony and credibility are the core values of CAA. As the leading arbitral institution in Taiwan, CAA will make ever greater strides with professionalism and sincerity to meet the challenges of cross-strait and international arbitration and the Mediation Center in the future.